All right, so we're gonna get us uh, started with assignment 17. So why don't you guys open up assignment 17 and we'll go over that first. Thumbs up or a head nod or something when you have assignment 17 up on your screen. Three, awesome, great. Um, but I did look at yours ahead of time and they looked pretty good. So we'll just go through and make sure we're all on the same page. So the first one is asking about diatomic molecules and asking you to name all of them. So first of all, what is a diatomic molecule? Um, it's a molecule made of just one kind of atom. Great, a molecule made of one type of atom. And how many molecules or how many atoms would be in that molecule? Two. Two, great. So if you take a look, I have them all laid out like this, which is in a different order than they appeared um, in the Google Slides we did last week. But the way that you can remember these is kind of funny, but it's Brinkelhoff. All right, so see how the way I have it ordered kind of spells out the word Brinkelhoff. So it can be tricky because you need to remember that BR go together and CL go together. But that might help you if I were to ask, um, and you didn't have your notes, what the diatomic molecules were, Brinkelhoff. All right, what about number two? So what is the name of the compound with the formula CO2? Carbon dioxide. Great, carbon dioxide, awesome. So we're gonna move on to assignment 18. All right, and we'll just um, preview this quickly and then I'll let you guys work on it on your own. So there's a two column notes template for you to fill out. Um, there's only three main ideas for this one. So you can add in your details. And then there are three activities that you are going to complete. And the first one um, I did as an example. Activity two is about um, you actually naming the compound. So again, I did the first one for you. So this right here, Li2O, is uh, made up of, L of lithium and oxygen. And so the name is going to be lithium oxide. And then you're going to name them based on the rules that you wrote in your two column notes from the Google Slides presentation. All right, and then activity three is just going to be you naming the compounds. So I give you compounds here um, and you're going to write the name again using the correct rule from the Google Slides presentation um, in your two column notes. And if you get stuck or if you need extra support, let me know and I would be happy to meet with you, but we will also definitely go over this on Thursday to make sure that we're all on the same page. All right, Melissa's all set too, great. Okay, so we're gonna go through um, this assignment. I did look through it um, and I think you guys overall did a really great job. Um, I just wanna run through it with you and make sure that we're all on the same page and then answer any questions that you might have as they come up. Um, so your two column notes, looked good. Um, if I had specific comments for you guys, I wrote it into your document. So there's three of these and three of you. So Kiki, if you could do KCL. Sophia, I'm going to have you do CUO. And then Melissa, can you do NABR? All right, Kiki, go for it. Um, potassium and chlorine. So Great. the name is potassium chloride. Awesome. Nice potassium chloride. And um, I mentioned this to my last class too, but I was really impressed by how well you did um, with K. K is one of those tricky ones that a lot of students um, get messed up by because it doesn't, you know, the letter K is not in the word potassium. So nice work, all of you on that one. All right, Sophia, C-U-O, what'd you get? Um, copper and oxygen. Great, so what's the name? Um, copper oxide. Oxide, yeah, great. Yeah. All right, Melissa? I got sodium and bromine. Yep, bromine, great. Bromine. Mm -hmm. so um, what's your scientific name? Sodium bromide. Feel free to stay on if you have extra questions for me or want to check in. 